Hi, y'all. Michelle Davenport here with a little vertical hope from Faith Builders Ministries. Listen, I was reading in the book of Acts today, Acts 9, and I believe it is 36, where um, there was this, this seamstress. Her name was Tabitha, uh, but it's translated Dorcas. Um, so she was a seamstress, and she went, she fed the poor, and she's just a good woman. Well, she died, and they called for Peter to come and 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 just come and pray over her and and just see her. And he came, and when he came, there was all these mourners, all these um, mourners running around. They were showing Peter her the um, garments, you know, and everything, and telling him how wonderful of a garment maker and seamstress she was. And they were so sad that she was gone, and they were crying and wailing. And you know what Peter did? <laughs> so amazing. I mean, I was totally blown away by it. <laughs> All these people are mourning and crying and, and she's dead. Dorcas is dead. They're doing a fashion show and showing them all this wonderful work she did. And you know what he did? <laughs> he cleared the room. He said, everybody out. Everybody out. And then he knelt down and he prayed for her. And she rose up from the dead. Listen, I'm going to tell you this. What I got from that is a couple of things. I know the power in us to raise the dead is in us. I know that. But I also got this from the scripture. Um, he cleared the house. He cleared it out. He made all the naysayers go. And this is what I know for sure. This is what's on my heart today for you. Is that there's too many naysayers in your life. <laughs> You might need to clear the house, man, before your miracle can happen. Because you know what? You might be believing for something. You might be believing for your finances. You might be believing to get pregnant. You might be believing for a new car. Oh, my gosh, you know? You might be believing um, for uh, a husband. But then you got those naysayers in your life. It's like, oh, no, you know, you, <laughs> you know, I, I don't believe God's going to just bring you a car, you know? I'm not talking about name it and claim it faith okay i'm just talking about people that are believing god to give them a car and i've got story after story after story and, and even my own daughter prayed in her car i mean i know it's possible i've got story after story after story how people prayed in their spouses um my goddaughter uh did it um and i've shared with you on that you know story after story about finances i know god still does miracles and this is what i want to say to you today the hope for you to today is get the naysayers out of your life clear the house man i mean tell i'm telling you some people they just ain't gonna be happy for you they just can't get in your boat without them having a drill <laughs> You know, and so it's your heart as you're praying. There's somebody in your boat just drilling hose, <laughs> just, just going to try to make you sink. And so um, that's the hope today. On a very serious note, that's the hope for you today, that you really do need to take inventory of what's working and, and, and surround yourself with like-minded people um, that think like you. Um just especially according to the scriptures. I mean, they don't have to be a replica of you, but they need to believe the scriptures. It's hard for you to stand on the word of God and believe for something when you've got 10 other naysayers saying, oh, it'll never happen. It'll never happen. God just doesn't do that. Well, you know what? I begged a different. My God still does everything he said he, he can do in this Bible. He still does it. And I've seen it. I've seen it time and time again. And so I'm a believer. My faith, man, it's been built up over the years. And um, I try to surround myself with those kind of people as well. And I want to be that kind of person that people want to surround themselves with. So uh, clear house, man. <laughs> Kick the naysayers out, you know. And, uh, and you keep moving forward in your faith. And you watch God bring it to pass. He will bring it to pass. You stand in faith, okay? A little vertical hope from my house to yours today. God bless you. Bye-bye.